cnews.ca. And now, the big show. Thank you. Time for takeoff, Mel. <laughs> Melanie, and, hey, I'm happy to see Team Canada going out there on the field, and hopefully those agreements get figured out very, very soon. We need to see that as they try and make a run at the World Cup in November. All right, you sound off. We've got your questions for Commander Hadfield, who is joining us. Very kind of you to take the extra time to do this. We really do appreciate it. And we're going to start with a phone call, D. Adorable alert, not just you, <laughs> Commander Hadfield. We have an 11-year-old <laughs> on the line. I cannot make this up. His mama called, gave permission. George Owen, are you there? Yes. Good morning. I hear you have a wonderful question. He is listening right now. Commander Hadfield is here for you. What's your question? Uh, do you prefer living on the ISS in space or on Earth? Mm. Good question. Do I prefer uh, playing the guitar in space or on Earth? That was the question. Is that right? No, living. Living in space or on Earth. Oh, living. Yeah. I'm sorry. A little earpiece is small. Okay. Um, gosh, I'm lucky enough to have done both. I think I prefer living on Earth uh, because I'm with my family and my dog and, you know, all the people that I love. But just from a pure experience, living in space is way better because you're weightless. I mean, it's effortless and graceful, and, and you're the world's greatest gymnast. And out your window, the view is constantly changing as the world pours by underneath you. So I think the best answer is uh, live at home and visit space as often as you can. George, mm -hmm. do you want to be an astronaut one day, like Commander Hatfield? Yes, I do. Okay, That's good awesome. luck, young one. Thank you so much for your question. You're amazing. Have a great day. Up next, another caller. Yeah, Let up. We've got Shannon from Windsor. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? We are great. great. Commander Thank Hadfield you. is ready for your question. Now, my question is for you. What's your most greatest experience out in space? Uh, Shannon and Windsor, uh, my greatest experience, the coolest moment in I, maybe, I mean, in my, my whole life was I was outside on my very first spacewalk and we went through the aurora of the world, through the southern oh lights. If you can imagine being outside of a spaceship, holding on with one hand and having the aurora of the world rippling past you, going through your legs, the green and the red of the world's aurora, like surfing on the, on the northern lights. It was just so incredibly beautiful and, and just mind numbing. I'm gonna think about that for the rest of my life. Oh, that's amazing. And you know what's amazing about that? My daughter's name is Aurora. Oh, ah, there you go. <laughs> that's a connection. Small Six world. degrees right, right there. Speaking yeah. of small world, we're running out of time. Thank you so much for your question. Have a great day, Shannon. I want to skip ahead. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who wrote in because we don't have much time. Uh, email from Sherry who writes, when you are in space, what <laughs> foods do you actually enjoy eating? Does anything taste good? <laughs> well, without gravity, uh, the, the, your sinuses are always clogged up because they don't drain. And so it's hard to taste your food, like when you have a cold. So you want spicy food, stuff with horseradish and wasabi and things like that. So my favorite food was actually this dehydrated shrimp cocktail, just because of the crunch of it and the, uh, the horseradish cocktail sauce. So anything that clears your sinuses. But weirdly enough, my favorite space food, dehydrated shrimp cocktail sounds amazing. disgusting but that's why you're amazing you see what you sacrifice when that's that's the treat you're looking forward to god bless you you deserve all the good food here on the planet earth. but do you enjoy a shrimp cocktail like the hydrated version on earth normally <laughs> yeah okay yeah and, and i wouldn't really recommend the dehydrated yeah. version but it's you know yeah, if you're right. if you're off the planet it's not bad it's all what you got to do commander limited. hadfield we really appreciate you taking the time with us this morning and answering everybody's questions and our silly questions as well we yeah. do Appreciate you're everything you're doing for the country and the planet. My pleasure. Devo, fly that jet well. <laughs> I'll do my best, sir.